Hey everybody, this is Brett, and tonight I want to show you why I stimulate my spine every single day. Now, you know that your spinal cord has all of the nerves going out from it to all parts of your body from your brain. Woohoo! 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 How important is that? How many people out of, say, a hundred actually get spinal stimulation regularly? I don't believe it. Not very many. Probably less than one percent. The people that might be getting an occasional massage, right? Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Massage is fairly expensive. And so, in any case, <clears throat> take a look at this acupressure chart. And you'll see all of the lines and acupressure points going up and down your spine. They're mostly bladder points. And then you've got the, the center meridian going all the way down the center. So you've got a lot of muscles surrounding the spine to protect it and to give it strength. And so many people have like a very stiff backs. Oh my god, my poor aching back. Oh my god. Very stiff. And they'll often be really sore and or have like a big knotted area on the right side mostly because people are right-handed and and kind of right in the middle from my experience of massaging many thousands of people and from my own body and and so the two things that work the very best for me to do self-massage for my spine because like who else around here is going to massage my spine we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for volunteers. <laughs> the hound is over in the corner. <laughs> She's not going to do it. I use this old roller. <laughs> this old roller does not look like the ones that I sell to people. This is a cherry roller. Really beautiful. And this is a purple heart roller, hard and heavy. It's kind of a hardcore one, but it, still, it works really good. That was my first roller I ever made, and I kind of upgraded it so it can go in and out really easy. Uh, and here's the Theracane. Now these two things are on my website for a reason because I use them, and I just got done using them, every single day, every day. And every day, I will use this roller with the sides with a gap in between to massage like the musculature farther away from the spine and even up against the scapulas, like the, the uh, uh, whatchamacallit muscles. <laughs> and the rhomboids. The rhomboids are muscles in your back that help your arms to be able to move forward and back. And they're often very much overused. Major and minor. And, um, and then I'll take it and put it together. I'll open that up. Turn in the nut all the way in. And then tighten it back right down. And then, and then when I'm massaging my back, I'm actually massaging directly on the spinal processes, which are the little bumps, the little nodules. A process is something that sticks out. So these spinal processes look really long, but that's because you see on the left there, that's where all the muscles are packed in. And that's a deep bunch of layers of muscle tissue. In your body, in the anatomy lingo. 
So the little spinal processes, when you get that center point right there with no gap directly on them, it makes them crack even deeper. The stuff that won't come out if you've got it spread, you can get deeper cracks. And you're just like, ah, this is so good. I feel so good. I feel so good. I feel so good. <laughs> it gets the stuff out that chiropractors, there's no way. There's no way that a chiropractor can get the cracks out of a back <clears throat> that this tool can. And this is something that you just buy once. You buy it once, as long as you don't lose it, you're good to go for the rest of your life because I make these out of solid wood, like maple or cherry. Right now, I have some mahogany that I paid a little bit extra for and I'm gonna make a really cool roller. But um, the Theracane I discovered a long time ago and I like it because it's simple. It doesn't have any fancy BS on it. It's stiff, so when I put a lot of pressure, that's what I get. I get a lot of pressure without it bowing. And um, and yeah, it's like there are there are massage tools like rollers with all these little knobby things on them. I don't agree. This roller. It is an ass-kicking good roller, and it's got just latex, natural latex, and there aren't any knobby things sticking out of it. Because, you see, when you're rolling on a roller, how do you know that those little knobs are getting on the exact point that you want to get on? Well, you can't. You can't pinpoint it when you're rolling on something like that. The reason they put the little knobs on there is because they think that people will think that that's better. It's not. <laughs> it looks cool. Those look really cool. It looks cool. It looks cool. <laughs> but they don't work better because they're just like, they may, be, they may stimulate to a, a degree, simulate places, and sometimes you'll get lucky and they'll hit the right places. Oh! Oh, oh. But that's not what you want. I have a solid wood roller that sometimes I'll use, but for the most part, if I need it to be more aggressive than that, I will get out the when all else fails massage tool. And I will make that for y'all someday. <laughs> but it's not happened yet, and um, I'm just working on my health. I've got a little bit of a cold now, and I got it at a gathering that I was at the other night, um, Friday night. I sang the underdog song. <laughs> Speed of lightning, roar of thunder. <laughs> it was really fun. <laughs> and then I sang Nights in White Satin, which is really the opposite, because at the end of the song, it has that, that little poem that goes, Breathe deep the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade from every room. And it's kind of a sad song. If you've ever never heard it at the end of Nights in White Satin, I'm sure you older people like me know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it has lines in it like, Bedsitter people look back and lament, Another day's useless energy spent. Uh, things to think about in that poem. Anyways, um, right now I have some really awesome things on sale. If you'd like to get one of my pillows and you really can't afford $60, I am willing to make you a coupon. I'm the coupon queen. I'm the coupon queen. And if you'll send me an email, brett at brettsnaturalhealth.com. Be sure and put an S, brettsnaturalhealth.com. Dot com, B R E T T. But um, yes, these two products, the roller and the Theracane, will get you down the road a long way with stimulating your spine and the musculature around it really, really well. And um, yeah, this is an Amazon affiliate product. And once again, if you watch that video I made a couple videos ago 
you'll see that I have an Amazon affiliate link on that video in the description box and in a comment down below. If you would please use that when you purchase things on Amazon, I would so appreciate it, like so much. Thank you. Because <laughs> you'll be helping me to make money to pay for things that I need. I'm just a poor person. I'm on a budget, you know. Financially right now. It's going to get better though, I'm telling you. It's going to get better, but right now things are tough. It's going to take some effort. And I would really appreciate it if you would use that. And that's all you have to do is use it and then shop on Amazon like you regularly would. Oh my god, oh, shoes! But thank you so much. I'll put another link for that affiliate link in the description box on this video too. I hope that you're doing really, really well. Check it out. This morning I forgot to turn off the electric fence and I was feeding the chickens and shortly thereafter I heard this snap and this chicken jump and run. <laughs> Poor little sucker. <laughs> Got, you know, touched the, the line. But that shows you how good it works and uh, yeah, I'm blessed to have a little chicken fortress at night because there's so many animals out there that would love to eat chicken. <laughs> Someday soon, I'm going to talk about um, killing and eating chickens. It's been playing on my mind a little bit, but um, I realize that I'm not at the point to be able to be vegan. I'm still going through a lot of healing. You can tell that I'm looking pretty good though, huh? But, um... You know, eating a, an occasional chicken or eating an occasional egg, those things, I do not consider those things to be really detrimental to one's health, especially if they're high quality, like the ones that I'm growing out there. That's another video that I need to make. I, I want to talk about, very soon probably, the things that I think are not really that big of a deal. Anyways, look for those videos soon, and I hope that you're having a really great first part of the week.